I grew up next to a giant estate that was owned by a guy called Lord Penryn. He owned all of the slate mines in, in my sort of local community and he treated his workers absolutely terribly. They had to walk several miles to work every day. They were paid poverty wages. They had to buy all their own equipment. And when there was industrial accidents, which there were a lot because he didn't care about people's safety, there was no sort of compensation. They were just out of work forever. It was, it was like extremely exploitative wage labor. But he also owned a sugar plantation in Jamaica, which enslaved people. And I think that's quite a good example of where you have two different experiences that actually are not comparable. And one is worse than the other. You know, I don't think we should suggest that they're equal. But what is equal in that situation is both of those groups have a shared interest in getting rid of this guy, in taking his power away. And I think a good modern example of this is if you look at a more modern example, is the Young Patriots and the Black Panthers. So Fred Hampton, who led the Black Panthers at the time, approached a group called the Young Patriots, who were a sort of group of uh, young white people, whose, um, whose symbol was the Confederate flag, which is obviously the flag of slavery. And instead of saying to the Young Patriots, we're not going to work with you because you're the, the symbol that you used is sort of, is deeply racist. Instead, they just said, we both have a shared interest and our shared interest is the, the police harassment, is ending police harassment. And through their work together, the young patriots renounced the, conf the Confederate flag on their own. In the end, they didn't need the Black Panthers to convince them to do that. They did it on their own out of respect for the Black Panthers. And I think what this shows us is that our experiences may not all be the same. Some of us may have worse experiences than others, but it's through working together that we can build that kind of respect. It's through working together in a way that's respectful, that's open and that's in solidarity with one another, that we can build something together that enables us to sort of to have that education um, to have that learning and to understand that some people have it worse than others. Some people are more discriminated against than others. You know, but but coming to that in a way that is sort of comradely, to use an old word.